Hello, I'm Dr. Richard W. Fleming of the Beverly Hills Institute of Aesthetic and Reconstructive Surgery on Bedford Drive in Beverly Hills, California. Uh, we have filmed a series of podcasts talking about various cosmetic treatments of the face. In today's discussion, we're going to talk about cheeks, cheek augmentation, cheek lifts. Uh, when we talk about cheeks, there's two names that always come to mind in present day world, Beyonce and Halle Berry. There are very few people who are born with these ideal cheeks, but in fact we all admire the aesthetics of the high cheekbones. For those who are not born with this characteristics, there are ways of enhancing a lady's cheeks. We do it in men also, but most commonly this procedure is done in women. It frequently is part of facelift surgery or rejuvenation surgery where we are enhancing the cheeks that have suffered the fate of gravity like most of our facial structures do as we age. This young lady on the left preoperatively you see how flat her face is, how long her face is. By simply putting in cheek implants here we can improve that contour. If you look here, this is the cheekbone right here. You see it on both sides, right here. This is a typical cheek implant which come in all different sizes and shapes and many times we customize them and mold them ourselves. But you see under the skin, if we place a cheek implant here, you see how we get the improved contour. That's exactly what this lady had performed to improve her cheeks. You see here from the three-quarter view how flat she is here. This gives her a much more youthful uh, appearance, a much better facial contour. This lady had a couple things done. She had cheek implants and as you'll see her picture later she also had a chin implant. There's a feeling that beauty is only skin deep but that's definitely not true because when you think about beautiful people whether it be attractive women or handsome men the underlying bony structure is an absolute necessity to achieve that goal this is a woman who had rejuvenation surgery she had a brow lift she had her lower eyelids done and she also had a cheek lift and you see how all of this sagging the bags here at the margin of the lower eyelid the bags and folds here along the groove from her nose to her mouth have been eliminated with the cheek lift which is part of rejuvenation surgery and in this lady we used a, a very nice technique which simplifies the procedure this endotine device we place under the cheek right here and then bring it up to the tissue under the scalp and secure it so this will hold the cheek in its new location until it heals this device is made of natural substances like ascorbic acid and will dissolve and in eight to ten months it's totally gone you cannot feel it in the interim but it's a temporary device that helps us achieve the desired result in today's world many people do not have the time or the money to have an invasive procedure and therefore we can use fillers such as radius or the hyaluronic acids like Juvederm, uh, Restylane to fill the cheeks and to contour the face. I prefer however when we're using injections to contour the cheeks and to build the cheeks is to use the patient's own fat as we see here. So for this patient it's not as long lasting certainly as a permanent implant but by injecting her fat taken from her body injecting it here we can recontour the cheek and build up the cheek there's a lot of different choices here in terms of enhancing the cheeks uh, I refer you to our website www.bethhills.com for a more extensive discussion about this topic you make me feel so young You make me feel so spring has sprung
And every time I see you grin, I'm such a happy individual. The moment that you speak, 